Busy as a bee, we've all heard the saying, and there's so much truth in it. They play an important role in the environment and on the products we use each and every day. And one bee farmer in Belvoir has been keeping bees for over 65 years. I just love bees. I, I always did. They work uh, uh, seven days a week, and if it rains, they'll come in, and quick quit quit rain, they'll go out, and they work Sunday. They don't pay any attention to holidays or nothing. Bobby Yates has been raising honeybees since 1954 at the age of 12. He currently has over 55 hives actively making honey and pollinating the vast garden on his property. One third of the food that, that you eat from the table, people really don't realize that is pollinated by bees. They love blackberries because they bloom early and I have a row of blackberries out there and they get bigger and bigger every year. Uh, from the bees pollination. Like many beekeepers across the country, Yates is concerned about the use of neonic pesticides and their detrimental impact on the bee population, as an alarming 45% of the nation's honeybee colonies have collapsed over the past year. Doug Vinson, president of the North Carolina State Beekeepers Association, says simply put, fewer bees equals less food. Honeybees, for a number of reasons, are, are our best pollinators. And uh, so environmentally, I think, you know, without the pollination, we would be in deep trouble. Uh, Food-wise, certainly the fruits and ber berries and veggies, squashes, cucumbers, watermelons, all this stuff that we grow in North Carolina. Yates and Vincent say bees aren't something to be fearful of. They're fascinating and hardworking insects that offer tons of beneficial impacts. I, I don't try to cure their phobias, but uh, honeybees are not aggressive unless they're defending their home. In his almost 69 years, Yates says he's been stung maybe 50 times. The more you round your bees, the more gentle they are, and I can walk through my bees with, with, with no shirt on or anything. This year, Yates has over 195 gallons of honey ready to sell at local farmers markets. Of course, this year's what I sell right smart of is comb honey, and uh, the only benefit of that, the, they say the honeybees have to eat about 16 pounds of honey to make one pound of comb. It's only thanks to the tireless and frantic efforts of beekeepers like Yates that the bee population is still here. Wondering how non-beekeepers can help the populations avoid using neonic pesticides that can be up to 10,000 times more toxic for bees than DDT. Neonic treated seeds used in nearly all conventional corn and soybeans have enough toxic ingredients to kill 250,000 bees with just one seed. If you have concerns over a beehive on your property, seek the help of a local beekeeper who can safely remove the bees and preserve the colony. Reporting, Emily Severidge, 9 on your side.